Thailand is known for its amazing food. From cheap street food stalls serving you pad thai for a dollar to malls full of restaurants and night markets throughout the country, it never disappoints when looking for a satisfying meal. So why would anybody go to fast food restaurants like McDonald's, KFC or Burger King while vacationing in Thailand? Well, it can not only serve to satisfy that craving for a quick burger after you've spent a lot of time in Thailand, but the menus are also different and potentially better than in your country. Chocolate burgers, Thai churros, some of the best and spiciest fried chicken and even rice dishes and proper Thai food at fast food restaurants? Here we go. What's up everybody, we are in Chiang Mai, Thailand right now and in this video we're gonna show you why McDonald's and other fast food restaurants in Thailand are better than they are in the US or in Germany. The next McDonald's anywhere in Thailand is just a couple of minutes away. So we came to this McDonald's, which is basically in the heart of Chiang Mai. And this is a pretty common sight here. There's this little like strip mall and there's often a McDonald's in there. And uh, you're even greeted by Ronald McDonald on the bench over there. But uh, let's go in and get some food. We just ordered a lot of food and we're going to start off with this Pad Krit Pao dish, chicken. And this is basically what sets it apart from McDonald's in the US or McDonald's in Germany. Spicy breaded chicken. You've got the basil in there, you've got the chilies in there on a bed of rice. So it's basically Thai food at McDonald's. Yeah. The one amazing thing that McDonald's does is it caters to every country and location. So this is one of the specialties here. Pad Krapal, you'll find all over Thailand, street food to restaurants and at McDonald's. Looks a bit like orange chicken. Mix it up, oh, look at that. So you have the chicken, you've got nice chilies, a nice sauce glaze on there, and then rice, you've got some basil hanging down. Look at that, perfect bite right here. I'm gonna be honest, we've had this a few times. It's really good. It's also pretty spicy. Like you would think McDonald's, mild in flavor, not too bold. Nah, this has a kick to it. This is Thai McDonald's. This is Thai McDonald's. And just to get a rice dish at McDonald's, pretty awesome. I love it. Mm. All right, next we're gonna try the Samurai Pork Burger, yeah. which is a, a specialty here. I feel like you don't get a lot of pork burgers in general McDonald's, right? More beef. Well, wait, there is the infamous McRib, and uh, I think the people are split between loving or hating it. Let us know what you are. Yeah, well, the McRib is always in Germany, but it's limited time in the US. I hate the McRib, but let us know in the comments. All right, so here is the Samurai Burger. You have a nice sauce on there, some lettuce, mayonnaise, onions, and a sesame bun. Pretty simple burger. Yeah, all right, let's give it a try. It's not my favorite. I also do not love the McRib. The pork patty just has a little bit more of a squishy texture and it's not really my thing. Quick bite of the pork burger. I think because it's a pork burger, I don't have high expectations either. No, I think beef burger over pork burger anytime. Hey, what's up guys? It's Future Phil. It's another day and I quickly wanted to show you it's not just McDonald's that there's weird things here or special things in Thailand. I've just been to Burger King quickly and they also offer these rice dishes that McDonald's has. But one thing they had which was a little weird is this burger. So this is a Hershey's chocolate burger and Burger King seems to do this collaboration with Hershey's right now. And it's just a chocolate burger basically. And you can see it has two of these colored buns that are a little darker. Then there's bacon on it and a good amount of dark chocolate, but then the regular beef patty and American cheese on it. So I don't know how this will taste, but I uh, just want to give it a quick try to show you this weird thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's all right. I think it tries to be two things and uh, I'd rather have either thing separately. So it's the regular cheeseburger from Burger King which is mediocre, I would say, um, but they added bacon, which is nice. Interestingly, bacon goes very well 
with chocolate, but then I don't know about the cheese if that goes well as well. Yeah, just as a quick intermission here, chocolate burger, maybe you're into it. They have it at Burger King, Thailand, but now back to McDonald's. Okay, we have these amazing pies. We have a pineapple pie, a corn pie, and a sweet golden pie, which I think is coconut based inside. It looks like a cream and something mixed into it. These are very similar to the apple pies you'll get in the US. We'll just open this one up. It's a nice pineapple, look at that. Honestly, I dig this one. You have this deep fried outside and then a nice warm pineapple inside. I don't know what's not to like about it. Then we have the corn one, this corn pie. I feel like this is the most interesting. The I'm not really- dangerous. Sure. Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, it looks like it could be like a shepherd's pie or something, right? <laughs> I'm not sure what shepherd's pie is, but it uh, sounds like something the Brits do and no good. That's not my thing. And then we have this sweet golden pie. They often have these promotional pies. I've seen curry pie before. They had this taro coconut that was really good before. Open it, mystery pie. We're so not sure we what's have... in there. Oh, this looks like the things that are on the, the Thai crepes. Oh, smells thing? very coconutty. Oh, oh, we have a winner. Mmm. It tastes a bit like those uh, those coconut pancakes you get on the street market with a little bit of the, the Thai crepe vibe to it. Oh, I like this one a lot. This one 10 out of 10 for me. Okay, I already know I don't like the corn pie, so I'm just gonna try the specialty one with the coconut and is that egg or does it just look like egg? Well, it's these shredded cheese things, I think. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It tastes like the Thai crepe they're called. Yeah, the Thai crepe. Mmm, coconutty. But a deep fried version. Oh yeah, that's nice. I saw something on the menu and here's an opinion. They have the quarter pounder cheeseburger here. They have the regular cheeseburger. They have the double cheeseburger. And in my opinion, the double cheeseburger is better than the quarter pounder. But they also have this. Dun, dun, dun. This is something Germany doesn't have and I don't know if the US has it but this is a one, two, three, a triple cheeseburger. And they had the option to add bacon, which is right That's here. A little sad looking. <laughs> so standard McDonald's cheeseburger buns and a triple with bacon. I'm curious how good this is. Oh my God. Yeah. It's really good. It has the typical cheeseburger flavor, but that bacon really comes through. It's this like honey glazed, smoky bacon flavor that is added to the regular cheeseburger. I don't know if the triple is better than the double because I think the meat to cheese and bun ratio is important. So maybe the, the double cheeseburger with bacon would be just as good, but this triple with bacon, this might be the best burger at McDonald's Thailand. And uh, we just don't have that in Germany. I like it a lot. Mm. I'm curious. I really didn't think you would like it. I thought it looks what? a little, it looks a little overrated. Cheeseburger is the burger at McDonald's. That's yeah, it's not bad. Face. I like the bacon. Like everyone always thinks more meat, more meat better. No, it's all about the ratio. Exactly. I think the double might be better, yeah, but yeah. I think this is better than the regular cheeseburger. Oh, absolutely. Wow, wow, it's pretty good. Pickle and all in here. I think that's better than the quarter pounder by far. All right, quick try of the fries. See if they're the same here in Thailand. They look the same, pretty pale fries. I feel like a cow. Yeah, very standard. Um, they're saltier than they look. Uh, another thing though that is a little special to hear is they have two sauces. They have tomato sauce, which is just like ketchup. And then they have this sweet, sweet and spicy sauce or sweet, which is like this orange one. It's sweet and spicy and it works surprisingly well with it. Oh. However, this is also not very standard in Germany. Check it out. We got big ass chicken pieces and no, we're not at KFC. This is McDonald's. I think in Germany, you can only get nuggets. Sometimes they have like chicken fillets or something, 
but this stuff here is always on the menu in Thailand. A full menu for just fried chicken. Exactly. And you can get all of it spicy. So it's another reason why this McDonald's is just better. It's basically like a KFC and a McDonald's combined in one location. In and one. you can have both. You can have your <laughs> cheeseburger from McDonald's and the chicken. But let's see if it can compete with the KFC. I'm just gonna start with the original. This looks like a wing. Just gonna get in there. Mmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm, it's juicy, it's not dry. And I didn't even hit bone. That's pretty good. I like it. Can definitely compete with KFC, but I'm more excited for this one. Look at this color. Yeah, that looks so good. Orange food. Get a good bite here. Mmm. Oh yeah. Dude, definitely better. Go for this one if you like spicy. Um, I think the better is strong. It is actually way heavier seasoned and spicier than the original one and not just like these nuggets you know sometimes we have the spicy nuggets they're just not that spicy this is like legit it's very crispy better on the skin here i'm drooling i love fried chicken dude everybody loves fried chicken right Give it to this me. is good this is actual good fried chicken also quick drink they don't have just coke sprite fanta they have Thai milk tea as well, which is, I think, an acquired taste. Um, I haven't tried it in a while. <laughs> How sweet is it? It's like a black tea. Oh, excuse me, a very weak black tea with like condensed milk and a sh ton of syrup, like very sweet. So it's not good, in my opinion. Yeah, not for me, but that's all right. Uh, right, so right. good. I never go to McDonald's in the US. If they had this, I might. All right, so we have these patongos. Patongo. Individually wrapped, deep fried dough, pretty much. I know these as yutiaos, and they're very common in Chinese cuisine. You'll actually have them for breakfast. It's literally like oil stick. Is it like a churro? A little bit, but here they serve it with this condensed milk. Yum, your favorite. Yes, I know. This is why you need lactate before every meal, right? They like their milk and sugar here. Look at that. Oh yeah, what does it remind you of? Put it in your mouth. <laughs> hey, you were thinking it. Mm. Mm hmm. Dude, they taste so similar. They look softer than a churro. It is a lot softer. Look at that. Oh. It's just dripping. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's good. I think when you want fried dough, these are the types of things you go for. Oh, it's good. Quick tie of the Patongo for me, because they were invented in Patong. Fuck it. It's not why. Dude. Fried dough. Humans invented some really stupid things. Just fried dough with sugar and milk and stuff. It just works. It's not stupid, it's amazing. Yeah, it's so Donuts, simple. Donuts, any type of fried dough, it's a donut. It's so unhealthy, but incredible. Yeah. That's pretty good. Zay lecker. I prefer Nutella though, instead of that milk. Mm. I prefer Boston cream donut. I prefer a cheeseburger. <laughs> We're all about trying local food. That's the main reason why we travel. However, I think people just like to bash McDonald's, but secretly like it. We're not saying eat it every day, but it can be good. And when you're as experimental with local street food and dishes as we are, sometimes you'll end up with the stomach bug. And going to restaurants like McDonald's that have a certain hygiene requirement is often less risky than ordering some street food. So that was McDonald's food in Thailand and some of that stuff I wish we had in Europe too. Let us know what McDonald's looks like in your country. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Like in front here, put it here. And a little lower. Yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs>